All right, so here are the three mutes that I use to tune the upright piano, and I'm gonna give you in this video a short tutorial about how to place the mutes as you get to places at the end of these sections where it's hard to get a mute in. Also, this is coming because I've had several people ask me, uh, they use these big fat mutes that are mainly used for the grand piano. So my grand piano mutes um, that I use are like these. Uh, and I use these in the grand and also ones that are smaller than this. They're like half the size of this, but I lost the other. Um, these do not work in the upright. Anything like this just doesn't work. So these can be bought at one place. And I'll put a link in the description with some details about how you can get that if you're a student or if you're not a student. And these are called the Paps Trouble Mute. So this is actually the three mutes that I use. So in this section of the piano, I'm just using the mutes, the walking mute technique like this. So I'm using, uh, I tune the center string and then I pull this out and walk it over, tune the right string, and then I pull this out, walk it over, tune the left string. That's uh, generally everything you've learned in the, the course if you've been studying with me on apexpiano.com. You get up here to this section and this last string here, it's, you, can't hardly, you can hardly get this in here. I mean, this one you might be able to get in here. So what I do on this uh, scenario, you have the right string first. That's how you, you, you break the, the pattern. So you put the, the little mute in right here, mute out the left two strings. Then you're gonna tune the right string first. You're gonna take this out after the right string is tuned, move it over one. Now you're gonna tune the middle string, and then you're just gonna pull this out and tune this left third string just open. Uh, it's a little bit harder to do that, but you can do it. So you, again, you take this mute and you mute out the two left strings and you tune the right string first. Then you pull this out, you tune the middle string, and then you pull this out totally. Now, if you're not good at tuning this third string with two open, you can come back in and mute the right two and tune that, that left string to your AccuTuner or to your tune lab. So you can tune that left string basically straight to your tuner. You can come right in through underneath this strut. Same thing on this right side. Get to the right side. What I do is I just use a single mute. I mute out the, t the right side strings. And I tune the very left string first alone by itself. And then I pull this out. And I, then I mute out the very far outside right string and I tune the middle string. And then I pull this out and tune the very far right string open with all three notes open. Uh, then when you get up in here, you can see this this is where you would you would you would struggle using a big mute like this or even the big rubber mutes that are half this size. You can't really get them both in there. And that's why I absolutely use these little these little tiny um, stick mutes. And so you can stick them in there and you can stick them in one up high. What I do is usually I do one up high above where the hammer would hit and then one down low and you can put your foot on the damper pedal and lift the dampers up and kind of put it down in there even. You can kind of get it down in there and then you can let the dampers back down. This, this works pretty good all the way through. So you just put one high and one low. If it's really, really tight, I actually use, this is where I use the Paps treble mute. I'm not gonna go into super detail on this mute by itself in this video, but basically I use this on the right side. So I'll use the, treble, the Paps treble on the, on the right string and then I'll move it over like this when I'm ready. And I'll pull this out and I'll place this on the high side, not down in there, I'll place it up high, like that. And so that has, you have plenty of room, just enough room to get to the tune in there. So you, even down here when you get down to here. Then when I get past these dampers and past this little narrow space, I go back to two rubber mutes and then I can shove them further down in. It's a lot easier to shove them further down in there. But even on this one right here, you can, you can do, um, the right, the Paps treble on the on the uh, bottom on the bottom side, and the if this mute doesn't really work down there, you can just move it down here. It's very, it's extremely hard to. Um, you could, like in this one, you could you could do the Paps treble on the top, and you could take this one and put it on the bottom. Also. I don't use this mute like this very much, but you can actually shove this mute. You can squeeze it in and shove it in between, and then you can just tune the left string. You can pull it out, put it there, tune the middle string, pull it out, put it here, and then tune all three open. So that's a little bit more like the walking, single mute walking technique. And I'll talk about that in another video, but this this is the trio of mutes that I actually have. So Paps Trouble Mute and two of these very thin, long, mutes for any any upright piano. Now on the grands, I always use, I basically use these, and I use the half size ones. They're actually cut in half. They're, they're like the thinner version of this. 
um, for my grants. All right, if you have any questions, go to apexpiano.com and you can learn how to tune pianos and you can learn how to tune them awesomely. All right, God bless.